Seeing a black and yellow penalty charge notice stuck to your windscreen makes your heart sink. When you climb back into the car, your next thought is, should I pay or appeal? In a minute, I'll give you five strong reasons to appeal your ticket, but first, I need to let you know how important it is not to ignore a Sutton penalty charge notice. It's a long story, but I didn't pay or appeal my PCN and it ended up costing me 600 quid after a visit from the bailiffs. That's because unlike parking charge notices, these parking fines are enforceable by law. So when you get a Sutton PCN, you need to act quickly. Ideally, you don't want to pay more than you have to. And if you appeal straight away, then it puts your fine on hold. That means if your appeal is rejected, you might still be able to pay the discounted rate. You can appeal online or by post. If you feel that your fine was unjust, it's worth appealing. So here are five strong reasons to appeal your Sutton PCN. One, you were within the grace period. You're entitled to 10 minutes after your ticket expires to get back to your car. So if you're only a few minutes after your allotted time, then you have a really strong case to appeal. Two, the signs weren't very clear. So for example, they were faded, hidden by trees, broken or barely visible. You'll need photo evidence to back this up. So take as many pictures as you can and a video if possible. Three, you were unable to get back to your vehicle. This could be a medical emergency or something just as serious. Again, you'll need to be able to prove this. Four, you couldn't get back in time because you've got mobility issues. If you're disabled, pregnant or have a very young baby, the Equality Act says that you must be treated with understanding. And five, you were parked correctly and an error was made on their part. Now, you've probably already got the hint by now, but the more that you can prove, the better. It gives your appeal against your Sutton PCN a better chance. If you do send your appeal off and you're waiting by the letterbox for your reply, it can take up to 56 days, which feels like forever. If your appeal's rejected, then you will get a notice of rejection and you'll be asked to pay the parking fine in full. But if you're adamant that the Sutton PCN has been issued incorrectly, then you can escalate it to the tribunals. However, whatever they decide will be final. If you've had multiple parking fines, your council might be able to set up a payment plan for you or they might be able to stagger when the individual payments are due. It'll really help your case if you can explain how much you can afford by setting up a personal budget which shows your income and expenditures. If you're wondering if you have a strong appeal, then you could speak to online solicitors at Just Answer. You can use their £5 trial to ask as many questions as you want about your Sutton penalty charge notice and I'll leave that link below the video for you. Good luck.